The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, we meet at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And as we start off yet another excellent episode of the Power Trading Hour, S&P's up 8 points, Dow's up 23, Nasdaq's up 57, Russell's up 13, Crude Oil's up 76 cents, and see, what else do we have here? Gold's basically flat. It uh, had a little bit in the tank earlier in the day. Probably the big move of the day happened uh, around, what was that, uh, just after 10 o'clock. Not exactly sure what came out. It was about the same time uh, that we saw uh, a news announcement about uh, uh, giving away the, what is it, $10,000 for anybody with a student loan. So I don't know if that has to do with it. Maybe there was something else, but it was right at around 10. Uh, we saw the dollar up at about 109 on the DX, uh, got down to about 108.35, and that was in, what, two bars? So there wasn't a lot of time. It's back to 108.62. So... Is it? Maybe somebody else has some knowledge of what went on. I was thinking everybody kind of knew about it, so maybe that's not it. Maybe there was something else going on. Maybe that was being used for cover for something else nefarious. But uh, we're looking at it. And, of course, uh, uh, the uh, TLT at the same time. Uh, we talked about it getting back into the 112. Well, it jumped the creek today. It's done it with volume. You already have uh, almost 18 million shares into that last 15 million share low on uh, July 8th. Even the uh, lows before it had uh, lighter volume than that. So uh, we're down. We're into the gap. Uh, we're into this uh, big candle that really uh, was a, a bullish engulfing of three days. That was the 13th. Uh, what is that, 13th, 14th, and 15th of uh, June. And that just, you know, basically had a 10-point bounce out of that. Uh, and now we've come back and given it all back. Energy is about the same on the way up as on the way down. That first uh, move off the bottom, eh, mostly a, a probably uh, way too many people short uh, to – quickly on the uh, bonds it went back up to another high short squeezed everybody out uh, in my opinion and now back down to this low uh, you've got plenty of volume that does open the door for the june 16th low 108.12 and uh, right now was it the bond was it the dollar was it uh, political news was it anything else uh, that could be unknown at this time captain but uh Always uh, interested here if anybody has any alternate theories. Uh, see, the Nuke Man says uh, good on the CCJ. Uh, we bought the CCJ, which is uh, Kamiko, the uranium company, uh, and that was uh, to, 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 at uh, $22.50. Um, had a good buy-in on that. We were looking for 2650 for the first stop. We got a lot of volume today and a big gap. So I'm going to assume that it's probably going to need to consolidate a little bit, and we'll take another um, shot at it. Uh, the news is that Japan is going to open up a reopen, a restart. Depends on how you look at it. 17 nuclear reactors that they had mothballed because, of course, uh, they need the energy, as does everyone. Uh, so uh, your nuke game is on. The game is afoot. Probably could come up with some other mixed metaphors, but uh, I'm just winning too much already. On the mixed metaphor thing, they told me to lay off just a little bit to give everybody else just a glimmer of hope of winning that award this year. 
but uh, I think they all know. Anyway, uh, other things going on that I thought were very interesting. Once again, the dogs woke me. Uh, they're in a bad rut here of waking me up in the uh, middle of the night. Um, but uh, very interesting to watch uh, China coverage on Bloomberg last night. Uh, the more interesting thing to me was uh, that they are now rationing electricity for rechargeable cars. Um, and uh, we're on the odd and even thing, kind of like us back in the 70s with uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, if you guys are, are that old, remembering that you could only buy gas uh, on, uh, depending on if your license plate uh, landed in an even or an odd letter. I don't think you had uh, custom plates back then. I don't think that you did. I wonder what they would have done. It has to be an odd or even letter. Well, it could have been anything. Uh, but very interesting to see that they are rationing electricity for rechargeable cars. Of course, they've sold a bunch, about a million. And what I, I don't think a lot of people understand is just how compact uh, China is, and uh, it's not like there's a lot of extra room to be throwing up extra electrical lines, especially in the highly congested cities, but uh, yeah, there's not a lot of these manufacturing plants that are way out in the sticks where it'd be easier to build yet another uh, uh, generation station and maybe uh, patch into the, uh, into the uh, circuits that feed all the electricity, but uh, is very interesting to see. Uh, one of the other things I always thought was interesting about the EV market was an article, and I can't remember where I saw it now, where they talk about since it takes at least four times as long uh, at a minimum, or the, uh, uh, the minimum stop is four times longer than it takes to fill a uh, tank of gasoline, uh, that we need to have four times the room for charging stations if people uh, don't always charge their vehicles at home. I wonder if that's a good omen for all these racetracks and everything else. They may have the most prized real estate in the world uh, if uh, that is true, because of course you can only park so many cars in so many places. But uh, eh, maybe you don't need to be on the main drag if you're gonna spend 45 minutes charging your car. Don't know. But I thought it was very interesting uh, that uh, they're already running into the problems that many people have talked about. Of course, uh, over the early part of the summer in Los Angeles, uh, they were asking people not to charge their cars at certain times. So, yeah, any kind of technology that rapidly changes, it's never 100% easy. There's always uh, a few flies in the ointment, as they like to say. Uh, what was that now? Was it the, uh, I want to say, what was the rock song about the fly in the ointment? I'll think of it during the break. 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always get my newsletters at the front page of TFNN. We'll be back after this. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. And we have a uh, question in the email about when we're going to see the offender who wakes me up at night. Eh, I guess it down at the bottom of the hour. We'll bring on El Diablo, who's generally the one that wakes me up. And uh, we'll give him a brief time in the spotlight in the next uh, segment. 877-927-6648. Uh, Other things in this news. Uh, Apple announcing its big dog and pony i got to put something together with that for a mixed metaphor with yet another animal. But uh, I don't have anything at the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, 35 million shares today, yesterday 54, uh, 69 down into this gap higher that had 70. So there isn't a whole lot here, uh, but they have announced their dog and pony to show new products on September the 7th. So what day is that on? Looks like on the Wednesday. Well, I, I'm glad they uh, I like glad they're waiting until I come back on the sixth to get warmed up uh, for their dog and pony on the seventh. Normally it's a Tuesday. I guess maybe they pushed it because uh, uh, the uh, vacation day there on the fifth. But we shall see. And yes, I will be off uh, from the uh, or off the air anyway from the 29th uh, and come back on the sixth. So uh, we've got that uh, to put in your pipe and smoke it. I never knew exactly what that meant, but it always always sounded good. Okay, anyway, uh, Apple, Big Dog and Pony, the seventh. Remember, uh, there's few things that CNBC uh, won't do to be sycophantish for a few folks. Uh, one of those is Warren Buffett. Uh, I almost feel like I have to take a bath and a shower uh, with a Brillo pad after they get done with him. Uh, Apple is almost slightly uh, less offensive if they call themselves a media outlet uh, to be uh, critical or at least investigative on it. But uh, if you're one of these big guys, I guess there's a lot of pressure uh, to get the big catch that people want to watch on TV, whether it's the big uh, financial swami or uh, the big cap stock in the market 
probably don't want to run people off too much. I remember they endlessly made fun of uh, Balmer uh, because he would do stupid stuff. And he was uh, used to be the CEO of Microsoft and uh, never really came back on. But, uh, yeah, if you're running a billion-dollar company, you probably don't want to act like a jackass. And uh, don't be surprised if they meme you if you do. But, uh, eh, his 10 years kind of now on the – or 15 years kind of on the ash hip – ash heap? I think it was 12 years. Ash heap of history of uh, doing a whole lot of nothing. He did kind of have his hands tied, but uh, didn't really do a lot other than uh, sell a lot of shares, but uh, allowed his uh, old boss to do so too. And now he owns a basketball team. So I guess that's an uh, eh, apt conversation, but uh, not a hero. Um, Apple, of course, uh, going to be part of history today. So why don't we do that and we will move upwards and onwards after that. But it's always history. Eh, not so much uh, repeating, but uh, certainly does rhyme a lot. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is almost always repeating. And on this day in 2011, Steve Jobs says, I've always said that if ever a day came when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple's CEO... I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, that day has come. Of course, Steve Jobs, uh, about a year earlier than that, was diagnosed uh, with incredibly lucky um, observation that he had pancreatic cancer. He was one in a hundred that may have been able to save his life. He decided to drink uh, Asian tea instead of uh, listen to uh, doctors. And uh, get it operated on and uh, out of him. Uh, by the time he came to his senses, about six months later, uh, of course, uh, it had taken over half his pancreas. And uh, we all know how deadly a disease it is. It is always, uh, as Neil deGrasse Tyson says, it's always uh, interesting to think you know enough to make a decision and make a smart decision. Uh, but not smart enough to know that you're wrong making that decision. And, of course, a uh, very smart guy, but hung around a bunch of idiots uh, who convinced him that uh, eh, the West, they're, they're medicines. Ugh. And, uh, you know, only the uh, tea-drinking Asians know how to uh, fight pancreatic cancer. Well, of course, uh, he died not that long after, but uh, always interesting to know that maybe you can have it all and still be stupid enough to throw it all away. Just a, just a thought. Uh, and also now uh, 12 years in the rearview mirror, 11 years in the rearview mirror, you wonder what he would have done with the time that he had left as the at the helm, um, not just managing uh, one product and making it bigger, but uh, continuing to innovate. And uh, he was kind of always the bomb thrower. Always interesting to see the path that the two companies took from Apple in its early days to Microsoft. Um, Steve Jobs, uh, a real uh, revolutionary. And, um, of course, uh, Microsoft and, uh, and uh, Bill Gates uh, was a big fan of the Japanese at the time. And he believed in the just make it 1% better every day. Uh, Steve Jobs believed that you had to break the mold and maybe have a few uh, dust-ups, maybe even burn the house down. But uh, incremental was not in his vocabulary. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, Bill Gates was only that. I think they call it, I want to say Kaijing. Can't remember the name of it. It was uh, a, by 1990-92, remember, Japan was going to take over uh, the United States, it was inevitable, uh, but uh, he followed the uh, really the industrial versions from the uh, early 60s to the uh, mid 80s, and uh, we had a big tale of two different companies over a long haul. Um, Microsoft kind of getting back to its roots, and that is uh, extend and extinguish all competitors, uh, bring everything you can into the fold. 
and make sure everything that you do leverages something else you do. Uh, but uh, I do digress. Anyway, on this day in 2011 uh, is the last day. And, of course, almost a biblical story, isn't it? Guy kicked out of his co uh, company uh, only uh, about uh, seven years after going public. I think they went public in 1978 or 79. Got kicked out in uh, 85, came back in 95, and uh, became the CEO again, I think, in 97. But uh, what a tale of woe is me making the biggest company, company in the world, at least for some short times. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the inventor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we come back. Uh, anyway, uh, earlier in the morning, someone, I can't remember who now, brought up a uh, fuel cell in the uh, Tiger's Den. Uh, big mover out here. Not a lot of volume so far, 10%. Uh, did write about some very good news in the fuel cell uh, area uh, on Monday in the Tech Insider. Uh, just up to the downtrend line. I don't know if this has changed a lot, uh, but uh, we were talking about Japan. And somebody brought up that there wasn't a lot going on in EVs in, in, uh, in Japan. They really are very focused on making the whole hydrogen thing work and fuel cells. And there's long been rumored that they have some kind of double top secret um, breakthrough. 
and why they continue to push fuel cells and not really do much in the EV space. Of course, uh, kind of uh, early with the Prius in that whole area. Eh, kind of interesting they haven't done anything. Makes you think that maybe they have an ace up their sleeve. And, of course, uh, Toyota's made over 150,000 fuel cell forklifts. It's about all they use in uh, Japan these days. And so they've got a lot of experience with the technology. Uh, maybe it works better in fleets than it does in others. Uh, we've got uh, Mercedes working on some long-haul hydrogen uh, fuel cell uh, semis. They've got one that goes back and forth across the country. It uses uh, liquid uh, hydrogen and sniffs uh, oxygen out of the air that it needs for the uh, th yeah, it needs for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Got some more emails here, so we'll start looking at some other stuff. Uh, t -t -t okay. Oh, yep, yeah, I didn't bring uh, Mr. Diablo on. I'll get him on the next uh, thing. I forgot about it. I was busy looking up stuff here. So we'll get uh, El Diablo back in a minute. Uh, fuel, okay, da, 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 da. just looking through the emails here and trying to get to the ones we want. Okay, uh, we looked at Apple already. Let's look at the other usual suspects, see much going on. As we talked earlier, didn't think a lot was going to happen. I think we've got a low in. I just don't think we're going higher until we get past the uh, uh, the Fed in the next day and a half. What is it, tomorrow at noon? I'm going to have to look it back up. I know it's uh, – I think I've seen a couple people report that it's tomorrow. Don't know exactly what time that Powell gives its speech. I don't know if the others matter that much anymore. And whether or not he's uh, rather sanguine uh, about the whole thing or becomes a big hawk or a dove. But I think a lot of people are going to be reading the tea leaves. And it was always interesting if you aren't old enough to remember uh, the depths of the Cold War where uh, there would be somebody standing next to Khrushchev or Stalin. And uh, it always they always thought it meant something like he was next in line uh, to the uh, throne. Um, at one of the big May Day parades or some of the other stuff. But uh, always, you know, who was cozying up uh, to the latest despot running uh, the Soviet Union? Uh, kind of the same thing. Everybody looking a little too close probably about what he does and making a lot more than what it is. But it is interesting. Anyway, Netflix up a little bit today. Not a lot of volume, but I don't think much of anything has volume today. So we go back to the CBOE consolidated volume for the day. Uh, it's been dropping by about $100 million, uh, this whole week uh, as we start the show. Uh, it's about $150 million off yesterday's volume at this time. We just ticked over during the break uh, 6 billion shares. So this isn't a big down move with volume. Doesn't mean that we can't continue to see this thing go down on light volume into Labor Day weekend. That would be the probably the biggest bullish case uh, to come back and see maybe buying after uh, we come back from Labor Day. Uh, the bearish case would be probably going up uh, significantly with a lighter volume into what is probably going to be lighter volume all next week as everybody on Wall Street heads out to the Hamptons for the last big hoot nanny. I don't get to use that word enough. Hoot nanny, shindig, all the great words. Anyway, uh, going to be kind of light. So generally you want to fade the, probably about 70% of the time. You want to fade the direction of the market on light volume. And we're probably certainly going to have that. So uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, markets love to turn after the big three-day weekends. Uh, we're starting to see uh, the end in, what would you call it? The, uh, uh, the carpet bombing ads of uh, politics starting to fire up today generally i don't see much of anything and they're doing everything they can to get them in the last couple of days we had our primaries here in florida yesterday and yeah, pretty much exactly what everybody thought none of them were really close so we'll get into the the uh, fall 
and they will try to dispirit us and uh, do a lot of other things like gaslight us uh, into uh, November. But uh, yeah, I think everybody pretty much has a worldview, and they're probably sticking to it. So I don't know if there's really that many people are going to change anybody's minds. But uh, they're going to try. So uh, this is generally when I start uh, uh, to the uh, effect I can try to avoid the media as, as much as possible. Because like I said, uh, their, their job is not to make me feel good or do anything, but uh, make us all feel that the world's coming to an end and therefore watching it on TV. But, uh, eh, uh, homie doesn't play that game. I'm going to I'm gonna probably do a little bit of turtle Im- uh, uh, imitation and try to uh, hunker down until it's over. 877-927-6648. Uh, to, to what have had. Like I said, not a lot of volume in that. Let's go ahead and look at the other usual suspects. Uh, heavy shorting continues in AMD and NVIDIA. You're basically flat on the last two days. Well, flat. Yeah, I'm going to even say flat for the last three from the close. Uh, Friday's close. Just sideways on AMD. Uh, volumes to really decrease the last four five days in a row uh, again no real sign out here uh, maybe we could get that tomorrow if uh, Powell does do his little dance on the catwalk and convinces us all that uh, he really didn't mean last weekend and he didn't mean what he said before at the FOMC meeting maybe something else will come along uh, NVIDIA and VDA I've been watching a uh, online event called hot chips uh throughout the week and so i'm kind of a little bit tired um but uh, a lot of very interesting uh information on technology maybe it'll pay off one day on a trade where i know something or see something in fact there was one company that i saw a lot in this thing i don't think it's public yet uh to, to do i have a uh, let's see if i can't pop this up because i wanted to think about it and i haven't quite done it yet a uh, company called Grok, G-R-O-Q. That's got to be it. A um, lot of discussion about this one. They're not uh, public yet, uh, but they have a new uh, machine learning system, and uh, it's uh, streaming for streaming data and machine learning. Very interesting technology. Uh, just remember in a couple of years when they go public that I brought them up first. G-R-O-Q. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. around us is changing every day with so much happening it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information david white's investment newsletter the technology insider is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future david white has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology his weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks as well as entry prices target prices and stops to set for each trade Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
WTFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. By special request, we've got uh, Mr. El Diablo here, the gentleman that wakes me up about 2.30 in the morning sometimes, because, uh, eh, just because he can. But uh, I take him out before he sh should go to bed. Last couple of nights, he hadn't been doing well, so we had to give him out. But, uh, eh, he's part of the brain trust here at the White House, where we uh, come up with all our trades. But he's a pretty good boy. Uh, but, uh, man, we had a tough first year. He was uh, highly mistreated, uh, extremely mistreated, and uh, it took a good part of a year to turn him around. But now he's a great guy, and uh, eh, you can't put a, a butter knife between us both. 877-927-6648. The other one's Vixen, by the way. She's been on the show before, but uh, she never wakes me up. She's pretty good. She sleeps through the night all the time. 877-927-6648. So what else do we have going? Oh, we looked at, uh, I want to talk about Meta. Somebody asked me if uh, this actually made any difference. Uh, the uh, Federal Trade Commission uh, came to an agreement where they weren't going to buy some AI metaverse uh, company. And uh, basically they told them Facebook couldn't buy it. And then um, Zuckerberg was trying to make an in run around that by buying it himself personally. And so they added him to the lawsuit. Uh, they've taken him off only. Uh, and Facebook, uh, Facebook Meta, Musil still has to fight that. But uh, eh, we're getting into a point where the uh, FTC is starting to uh, get its groove back, kind of like Stella. And... Eh, they're not big on big companies buying out all the small companies before they get bigger. So eh, I think it's probably eh, if you're looking for some big M&A in this sector, eh, another good uh, warning chart across the bow of these companies. I still suspect I'd say the odds are better than 50 50 that that uh, he leaves the company. Um, and just from the other things he's doing which is uh, selling all his property in California, buying more property in, in Hawaii. It uh, looks like uh, the mega billionaires are all going to uh, just buy the islands out down there and run everybody off. Uh, but uh, eh. if you got the cash, I guess you get to do it. 877-927-6648, path at tfnn.com. Uh, nope. <laughs> not a one like I said uh, this is one of these uh, uh, someone's bringing up in the uh, den that uh, fuel cell never had any positive earnings this is going to be one of these technologies like fusion where they say uh, it's the technology of the future and always will be so but uh, things are getting much better probably they, somebody did ask me I'll, I'll give you a taste of it and that is that uh, they've been able to double uh, a, some of the specs 
uh, and match what the uh, Department of Energy and uh, the military want for fuel cells. So there are some out there now that are getting much better. Uh, they've dropped the amount of platinum needed to about the exact same amount of platinum that a uh, catalytic converter would use. So that would be about the same. Uh, if anything, it's probably a little easier to recycle stuff uh, in the fuel cell chain. In fact, you could probably re rebuild a fuel cell as many times as you want and recycle everything in it. There aren't uh, the same kind of toxic chemicals uh, that you have in lithium ion batteries uh, that explode in your face. Of course, uh, you do have the potential for a Hindenburg, but uh, we've had, there have been a bunch of them, especially in Japan, with very little problem with that. Uh, if you turn one of the uh, mirrors over, turn it turtle, uh, it has the ability to uh, have like a little antenna that kind of comes out the bottom of it and will shoot all the hydrogen up about 10 feet into the air. So I guess you could go light it and, and have a torch, but uh, if it does end up in a big uh, wreck and it feels it, it will kind of raise this antenna, uh, kind of like the old antennas that used to come out of the right front quarter panel, and you would see them add more. Or, I mean, the, the it would go up about, I think, about six or eight feet on the top, and it just vents all the hydrogen as quickly as it can out of that opposed to uh, turning turtle and having the same thing, a kind of a wand raises out of a protected area and outgasses all the hydrogen it can there. Uh, of course, uh, you know, you got the same thing with a gasoline car, if it, uh, possible. Big difference is, of course, uh, almost impossible to put out a lithium-ion battery with water. Uh, there are some foams that put it out. Not all the uh, fire departments have that. Uh, technology yet and even then it doesn't work great works better than nothing but that's uh, not a whole lot why you see so many of those cars burnt to nothing uh, anyway uh, good news does it mean that fuel cells have turned the corner no but uh, like I said the future is always fuel cells and always will be now there's probably, I think this is uh, at least on a par now with lithium-ion batteries. It may take another two years to get this technology out. And as I said before, Toyota has been locked on this technology for a long time to the exclusion of uh, working with Panasonic on its batteries, although they have, and there are more cars out there with that. Uh, but uh, they're staking uh, a worldwide uh, event with uh, apparently fuel cell technology at some point. It uh, doesn't really matter for the electric motors uh, in those, which of course are going to need about 150 pounds of copper uh, to be made. So the copper business could, whether you go uh, lithium ion or you go a fuel cell, you're going to need the same, pretty much the same electric motors. So that business will probably be good. Uh, and uh, if uh, fuel cells take off, platinum could have a nice life as it does now, uh, where everybody's stealing catalytic converters. But uh, I do digress. Uh, I don't know what the kind of foam it is. I've just seen them use it a couple on a, a few of them. But uh, I think it's just, uh, eh, it's kind of like uh, the uh, yellow uh, face masks that fall down in front of you uh, on an airplane. Uh, most people don't know. Those aren't really hooked to anything. They're there just to muffle the screams. Right? 877-927-6648. Okay. We got another one here. Uh, anyway, Meta. Uh, I'm wondering what it would do if Zuckerberg does announce that he's leaving. But he's making all the moves. He's gotten rid of his second in charge. And the question is, is he going to find anybody to want to sit in the hot seat? Uh, through a lot of congressional hearings next year. Okay. To, to, to. Yep, on a break now. We'll be back and wrap up the show as uh, we have our watch party for the big Fed uh, shenanigans. No. Uh, Hootenanny. Over the next two days. 
in, what is it, Wyoming? Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we get ready to wrap up another excellent show, uh, I did look it up because I looked it up and I saw some different times and dates. And you always wonder whether or not it's 2021 or 2022 they're talking about for the Jackson Hole speech. But I have something. It says 2022, August 18th. Uh, and it says that he will be here uh, on the catwalk at 10 a.m. Uh, on the 26th. So that's Friday all day except uh he'll be there on at 10 a.m for 45 minutes so are we is a lot of people gonna get over the tips of their skis before friday morning probably not so probably still a lot of chop going into it i don't think there's a whole lot more downside or upside to be had as we said earlier in the show uh we had a nice trade we went ahead and took the money why we could or otherwise as we say sell when you can so it may still be a lot more in the tank in that stock but it went to our first target and did it in two days uh not always do you get that uh and get all the money in a trade in a couple of days for what you think may actually take a week or two 
So generally, I'm a big fan of taking my cash when you get it all uh, pretty quickly. Um, there's kind of a medium ground. There's a little bit of uh, way slow, and it kind of rolls over. And then there's that medium speed where it just keeps going for a while. And then there's uh, the uh, three bears and the porridge where it's just a little bit too hot for the baby bear. And uh, everybody sparks off. So uh, anyway, we'll be looking to buy stuff on the rebound or on the on the pullback on that. But uh, other than that, uh, uh, for the most part, uh, time to hang our hat up. Maybe take a little bit of time and get ready to do some uh, big work on Friday after the speech. So when you can, not when you have to, we will return like Patton to the Philippines. Yeah, I... Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to